Iraq News, al Qadimi's political adviser was sentenced to one year in prison. The leaders of the armed factions and the coordination framework associated with them did not express any position, nor did they issue any comment regarding the upcoming visit, but a government official said that they are forced to accept indicating that the faction's silence came after Sudanese pledged to make the issue of removing American forces a priority during his visit to Washington. The official, who refused to reveal his identity, confirmed that the delegation accompanying the Sudanese would be ministerial and specific, in reference to conditional approval from the U.S. State Department for the delegation accompanying the president. El Sudani had received a similar invitation to visit Washington in September of last year 2023, a year after the formation of his government, but it did not take place. The visit comes at a time when Baghdad and Washington are holding joint talks to remove the international coalition forces, and the first round of bilateral dialogue held in Baghdad, on January 27 led to an agreement to form a joint military committee to review the coalition's mission, and it, and move to bilateral security relations. The committee began its work on February 11th of last year. The talks came due to pressure on the Sudanese government from the Iraqi armed factions allied with Iran and the political parties associated with them, as they demanded the removal of international coalition forces from Iraq. Following Washington's implementation of retaliatory strikes in Iraq that led to the assassination of prominent leaders in those factions,